streaming? Funny. Um, hmm. Yeah. Uh, I thought I got two more followers. What just happened? Where they're. Huh. Maybe they canceled it or something. I don't know what happened. Or maybe. I don't know. Oh, come back, everyone. What just happened? What just happened? Uh, yes, um, I felt asleep, uh, I felt asleep again while taking a nap, my mistake, uh, I shouldn't take a nap while I failed to fall asleep in the morning, so in other words, in other words, in other words, what am I doing, well, uh, in other words, I'm a little bit tired, Because my sleep felt short. And just because. But it's better to get back to work. Okay, 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 I need to manage myself. What's going on? We need this thing on. Um, eating something quickly, just for an attempt to make myself waking up, so I can talk normally. So give me a few minutes. <laughs> What else do I need? Where's the trash bag? Oh god. Oh, far, far, far away. Near the door. Let's put these on the floor. On the floor, on the floor. Oh, come on. Ah. On the floor. How did that fail? Damn it. Oh, it will take a year to get it up. And I need this. So, yesterday. I spent I spent my day off, so let's write that down as well.
even after taking, sorry, giving a lecture about keeping the days off and stuff for sick days and everything, I spent it here. Ta-da! And I enjoyed myself, the biggest sin. So here we are at day 12. And hopefully we will do more than three hours. Hopefully. After um, today's break, I'm feeling refreshed. And over napping. And all right, all right, all right. So few ideas came to me before I start the stream. One of them is I might, definitely might, definitely should implement a way to memorize the results and conditions actions whenever firing the uh, condition tag but not all the time so I'm going to make a new script maybe call it fx or maybe the normal F or FM, like for, for memory. So, and use a script for conditions to memorize which action which expression to fire and which result action to fire and end. so I don't know if I'm going to make to do this now or not but this is definitely must be done especially for the control you don't want to search which condition or expression I need to fire and which result need to be fired every time you press a diamond key. But for the quest, when you finish part of the quest or took an item that do something with the quest or make a choice on the dialogue, yeah, it's fine to search in that time because how many times you will do it in the whole game run? Maybe once, maybe not even once. But for the control, every time you press a button, yeah, that's a lot of expensive search for what to do and the result to fire it, where is it? So, um, this will require to create a key and memorize a list of actions and stuff and even worse I might end up required to um, have more than one uh, type um, to uh, might it might get complicated because let me see well if all expressions actually no the expressions can be uh, saved in a normal way because we go in here All expressions receive the, three, the same three things. The profile, the object, and the tag. And the list of tags. Well, no, one tag. So all expressions can use these three. So we can memorize them instead of making a search. Can we? No. 
No, this is the result condition. Mm. Even if... Hmm. But this guy is sending the same parameters to the result condition. Uh, I game I. Welcome to my work, where even saints get confused. No, sorry, even Hollywood movies programmers can get confused. Now that's an achievement. So this is the sub-dictionary of the tab creature objects and it received the same thing and it just fired the damn thing after it casts it. And instead of getting uh, 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 firing it, we want to memorize it. So I might make the design behind the camera because I will keep thinking deeply like this for hours and hours and hours and never do anything. What other thing that I wanted to type about? Honey, I have at least three different ideas about things that I can do, but because I just wake up in the middle of a nap and um, start screaming immediately without preparing and cleaning my head, that's what happened. to make a HUD class that easily programmable but I, I, I don't think that was one of the ideas and that the, 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 the idea of the HUD was like a little bit later I was saving it for later I don't want to deal with it now so let me write it down somewhere Shall I have a request for that in here? And I've already done it. I, I believe I wrote, I wrote that down and where did I put it? Yep. Funny I wrote a note for that. Okay. What? With that, I could work on symbol AR, could try to make save points on long map where I return to the last save point. When creature that move in different way, create a second map. Hmm. Whatever, Let, let's put it here. Uh, try to make a general use. Hot GUI layer where it easily where 
which can be easily configured and scripted. There's a third thing that I wanted to um, consider doing today that I thought about two days ago, but yeah, I should have got it down immediately instead of falling asleep. That's why I made this list. One of the main reasons. So let's work on one of these. Are they to add weapons, add layers? Let's work on the back. Let's work on the back MC, the mini component. So let's start the timer. Finally, we start working. At last. One way to do it is just to steal it from the old William St uh, William uh, Ordeal. No, there's no back M MC. In test 2, there was a back MC. But I'm afraid the back MC in, the, in test 2 is using a frame, and I don't want to use that. Yep, it used a frame. Screw this. But the, 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 the frame part is kind of nice because it has the god give a little bit tea, but I don't want the frame. Um, gooey. So we are going to make a new menu that accepts dragging, but it's not stupid frame. Um, so the frame MC, I don't think I can open it, it will crash because there is some, some uh, missing data from the map uh, component, but it has one of the parts, draggable, only if it is on a right height. Oh, give me a break. It's using the, uh, the, the, the script as well. It's using my old uh, script separator system. No, this is for closing. This is for if you click on the X. Okay, okay. This is for closing the menu. We will program that too in a different way. So it used pure script in here. Okay. This got deleted. This got deleted. But where is the draggability um, component? I don't see it. I don't see where it's draggable. It's in the FCC one. So, um, hopefully I delete this from uh, the new, uh, from the new engine. Yeah. It has been deleted since f engine three or something. So, pray, pray, pray to whatever God. At least let's copy the uh, item card. Section. How can you make it trackable? We will see about that. We will see about that. We... Um, we, we might need to manipulate some of the core. 
functionality for the menus to do that. Uh, since I deleted the deleted the, the frame menu component and I don't make uh, draggable menus, I just dock them or make them fix in the center screen, and I want it back. I just want it back. So this one using the frame as well. Wait a second, you kidding me? I can give the menu a bag? No, wait, what? Wait, what, 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 what? Wait, what? bag holder mini component uh, now I'm confused now I'm confused what the hell is this so how I can check the interface I don't remember making an interface for a bag holder yeah, I wish if, um, yeah, this interface. What? Item remove. The whole interface have only one function. Hooray. Um. Definitely not waking up. Definitely not ready for work. I've been humming and dumbing for years. Come on. Put your heart into it. Um, let's go. I don't know if I can adjust the image directly from uh, the here. But let's give it a try. Uh, from here. If I edit the file in here, will it update? I don't know. So let's go to the test. It should, it should be because even though I'm not using the uh, pipeline, but maybe if I update the pipeline. So what if we want to use this page for the bags or let's make a new one? I don't know. So, um, Um, hmm. let's just steal one. Uh, RPG bag image. Um, should we? Oh, it's this a real DND stuff. I'm no artist, but let's try to do something similar to this. So, uh, first of all, how large the items are. So, to ask this question, let's go to the SP. These are not even transparent. What the heck? This is like the oldest one I used to. 48 by 48. Use a color for transparent color. Alright. 
So if I want to have something like the size of 10, it will be 480, so it should be at least 500 by 500. Uh, 500 by 500. How large is this? It is smaller than 500 by 500. But we can make it bigger um, by scaling it up. Because I really don't want to enlarge the image or make a new one. Let's just use this one. So... Um, Can I see it? I don't think so. Oh, you can? Very nice. Very nice. Well done. That's me. It is the avatar menu. So the avatar menu is It's not regular, damn it. <sighs> Whatever, do the calculation. Uh, no, it's bad. Why is there a space? There shouldn't be a space. Who made this? What the hell? Let's fix this. There shouldn't be a space. If I have space, I won't be able to use it in timer segments or in scripts. But now I need to uh, fix the GUI that used them. So in the avatar menu, it is 400 36 by 420. And we want it to be 500. So 500 divided by 436 is one point one four seven one point one four seven and um, five hundred divided by four twenty. One point one nine. So this is the scale.
Okay, this is the first step. The second step, let's fix the issues that we just generated to ourselves. Yeah, I'm not going to edit it. I'm just going to scale it, whatever. The second problem is, I was going to draw a special image or whatever, but to be honest, this is the artist's job, and I have one. I hire one, too, that can work. Um, the mint press fuck uh test here here if i run it it will crash uh there are two ways either i crashed on myself several times or just go and try to figure it out because the items to make the images i change them so the profile menu in here should be space. The avatar menu it should be have underscore the hot menu I have a hot menu what? This one. Oh well, uh, this one I will turn it into general use later on. The language, the uh, main menu, the message box, the profile. Should I make a general bag? Um, yeah, let's make a general bag M MC. So let's call it G bag MC. And we're going to steal a lot of it from here. Actually, I call it inventory in here. Why is doing this? And we will need to add an item. We will add a health pack to test this. So we can test the script on increasing the health and stuff. And when we make the HUD, we can test it by letting it print Walker HP on screen. And I need to make it in a way only God knows what's going on. That I can easily configure it. Did I press the wrong button or something? Cancel. Oh great, even canceling will take forever. Oh well, in the meanwhile, let's add an item. Because this thing is staying forever, so let's keep it here. I 
I, I need to find a way to close this because it's I don't know how the code skip it oh finally now after I decided to do something else so in the objects we what the hell Oh, no, I don't want an object, I want an item. The position is in pixels. Oh, great. Um, one, two, three, four, five. So, uh, 200 minus eight, 192. Animation frame delay? I have animation for items, really? Since when? I don't remember it has a, a delay. Let's make it a stack 3. Let's run the old simulator and steal the, the, the code. What right now? The cell phone doesn't want to shut up. Let's talk. The stupid AI. Why did I install an AI, a chat AI? Chatbot with an AI. Because usually chatbots are ours. Anyway. Anyway. <clears throat> Because it opens more than one, I need to fix that, seriously. Oh, this end. Then what's this? Uh, oh, this is the item type. If I want to add a type, so here and it's active, and the shape has a size of two, and it is. But, 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 but it's a different image in here. Hmm. I need to find out where is this image. And it's called ISP1. ISP, ISP1 PNG. Save. Save. Um, mm hmm. Um, mm hmm. Let's go to the content. Maybe I, yeah, the one in here is different than the one I have. It's even transparent. So ISP. This one. Ah, I see. Yep. And I was like, that thing is really old. What the heck is going on? No, this one with the grid. This one. 
So we go to the uh, here. Then content. And apparently the other things are more updated as well in there, so let's go and seal them. And now simulator two. Not in here. In the content file. So Yeah, this one, I, I copied this one already, but when I delete this, it sometimes cries. I need to check if I delete it from there or not. Um, what's this? What's the difference? This one has C. This is for uh, the terminal select placeholder. I don't see the one for the objects for a reason. Anyway, let's not waste too much time in here. Let's Alright, much better. Uh, next, <clears throat> we're going back to the test tree and we will try somehow to make this one work. Somehow. Did I copy menu component? Objects in general doesn't have a bag, do, do they? Nope, they do. Mm, what if I object, I faction, I item, I mouseable, I extractable. What if I change the behavior of the... No, this is, this is the weirdest... Mm. Why do I have this interface in the first place? I don't get it. Uh, maybe to move items from one menu to another? I completely forgot, to be honest. I'm trying to make a general use menu uh, component a GUI for all kinds of bags so I can reuse it every time by changing its size and configure it a little bit 
and make a new menu for um, the bags instead of um, so if I want to use it quickly I have one and I, this might be it actually it seems this might be it Oh yeah, I do have something like this already. With the fridge, with the fridge, with the fridge. How did I forget? So I already have something like this. It has a rebind, get back, and it's own draw function. So if I go here, weird, I should check out what I did before I try to do it. So I already have something like that. Huh. And it's using the white stupid image, which if I delete it, it just start crying and annoys me to hell. Speaking of, why do I have a test A in the sprite? Didn't I delete the image? Hmm. Maybe it was in the blocks and somehow it was in the block four and I deleted, but it's not deleted from the bag. I will check later. It's the, the bag is in array. Um, I'm, I'm trying to make it as fast as possible because this deal, deals with tills. It's not in a list. And maybe it's good up when I deleted it. So when I use So this is only the grid. Okay. So you need to send a bag Okay, 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 so the menu components that using this is considered this interface. Okay, okay, okay. I get it, I get it, I get it, I get it. So let's go to the old code. So at least my work has been um, cut. Because I already done this step, I was going to do it, and I already have it, so good, good. <sighs> so, the object inventory. Why do I need to redefine it? This part should be um, should be hidden. I should make uh, the bag MC responsible on it somehow. After all, it's in the bag MC territory.
So okay, let's try to do this. And where is this used? Let's try to do this. Again, I will try to hide this somehow uh, and make it part of the bag MC. This, I, I will never finish work before sunrise or sundown or whatever. Um, my head is not in, my, in, in the game, sorry about that. This is going to be really boring, but I, I can see there's a lot of, uh, of things we could move. I mean, already there is a mouse track position in here, release in here, and here. And I, I, I need to make it cleaner to use. So this one has check drag, mouse drop, but this thing Really? I know I create a new inventory, but what's going on here? Uh, this is using a dynamic... Um, so is this a number? No, it's bag MC. Then what's find ID do? It return a menu component. What's confused me a little bit is this thing is a, a frame. Oh, 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 inventory frame. 
frame is a frame MC. And I don't want to use a frame MC as well. Wait. Hmm. I wish if I can run this killed. I don't think I can open the inventory. It crashes. Not because the code is not working, but the file is missing data. Related to attack. So I cannot relate it to the range as well. The range weapons. I can... Now what? And this one's related to the quest. Okay, okay, okay. Because uh, this is an obsolete project, an obsolete game engine, we can remove these three. The creature is no, what the hell? If the creature wasn't null, did I miss update the inventory? So this is a different uh, menu for the inventory. And again, it's not using any of these three. Yeah, I'm trying to clean up the mess. I'm trying to make a new one that has less mess than this. And the problem is we are not using the frame. And I don't remember anything that related to... Uh, It seems these codes uh, failed to fire, yep. Because I see the, the one that related to the question here uh, didn't work either. So, this is part of the issue. The campaign initialize has not been fired in the first place. So I need to fire a cook to initialize the... Uh... Ooh, wow. Yeah, there is a huge big fuck up in here, definitely. Look, this function is not called at all. Uh, maybe because I renewed the engine. I changed some of the stuff, yeah, definitely. And this using older version of the engine, and now this failed to work. One way to do this is to, uh, in an attempt to salvage this project, we go to the main menu. Campaign selector. Hmm. All right. Very. There you go. Mm, this is still fucked up.
I can test stuff now. Right? Yo! Oh, what the hell have I done? Yo, 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 yo! I was playing with the uh, the uh, attack function, weren't I? Without the right shift, it's a really stupid. It didn't crash. At least I found a good, one of the main reasons why the game stopped working because some update in the stupid how can I open the back? I'm, I'm, I'm really don't want to debug this project. I just want to test how the stupid things open. Can you? I just want to figure out how the hell. I'm nothing keyboard. Change the resolution, will ya? It's killing me. Thanks God I have a debug menu. I can't even close it. Checking the drag. What the drag? I forgot how, uh, maybe I screwed up with the code, I don't know. They should open. And this one, if I open it without having the quest, it fucked up as well. So I must go to the second map and return and we can open it, hopefully. Let's test that. And why am I keeping this crying? For some reason I can't open them. For some fucking reason I can't open them. Neither the bags nor the uh, the uh, stones for some reason. So the whole system is fucked up. Uh, it was working. It was working one day. Long, long, long time ago. Let me close some of the stuff and try to focus on the bag. I might program a huge part of it, reprogram the whole thing, because I'm not happy with the results. I'm not happy with what's going on. I'm not happy with a lot of the things. <clears throat> So let's try to make it in here. And because we already have a back class part of the game engine, we need to consider doing some of the stuff in here and we need to consider to change this class name. So let's keep it. Let's keep it general back menu component. 
to make it um, a representative for bags items when you open them so let's try to make it um, cryless so the first thing we need to program for some reason is remove items script or whatever and maybe inventory update but we will see about that I'll try to um, make this one completely responsible on the bag somehow because it already have the bag MC the item that you drag wait this is a static bag MC back from yeah th this is definitely related to uh, moving items from different bags definitely because you have only one mouse and you can drag only one item. I never f consider what if you have four players and each player try to drag an item. Yeah. So I might change some of stuff. Mm, need to represent the mouse or something. Yeah, I definitely need to reconsider because this is saying we have only one mouse. The problem is we can drag items with joysticks somehow later. Yeah. Um, I don't remember if I made the main joystick work as a mouse or not. In some cases, uh, when I was working on the arcade, I did, but I should not as well so this believe it or not this code was made before the profile we can make this part of the profile because each profile represents one player and one each player have either only one player can have one mouse and they can have more than one joystick for some reason um because all key binding cares about which key has been pressed more than which joystick is belong to who so you can share joysticks in my engine to different player profiles but in other words each player can drag only one item definitely so maybe maybe move the scope to the pro player to the bf player profile If I'm going to make the player move the code to the profile, then maybe I need to use the profile drag. Hmm. Where is that part of code? Is it in the controller or is it in something is going on? Definitely. Connecting to the team explorer. Oh god. Is there a server down or something? But I'm saving locally. I don't know. Maybe my computer doesn't like to have six different fucking projects on. Uh, I can't even scroll down, damn it. Great. <coughs> Can I at least check the other engine part of code, whatever? 
Um, but this is the old engine. I have a lot of changes. At least it's three, not two point something. Um. Excuse me. So what does the player profile memorize? It memorizes how many different games you're playing on, or either your profile have uh, played, did the quest conversation state, avatars that you can select. So it doesn't have um, control related things because there are control related things, but doesn't memorize which control oh it is part of the data of the game okay fair enough <coughs> it might be part of the controller event dealer hopefully I deleted that player info profile controller cursor and cursor center. Eh? What the hell is this? Why well, I'm using priority list in here? Controller priority list? Oh yeah. It seems I made a few updates on the controller than the last time I uh, checked it out or the last time I remember yeah I connected to the controller profile I even have a player login. Hmm. Controller change player. Apparently, I made this so I can make the controller interact with menus. So when you click down and up, apparently that's why this exists and it has its own sort. What were I doing? But I don't see any... Uh, Yeah, let me restart this very something going on here. Something's fucking going on here. But how can I close it if I do I have two test free or something? I don't know what's going on, it's killing me. I mean I'm as already slow slow as hell and I can't focus. Let me close unnecessary programs. I'm really talking like if I'm going to fall asleep because I'm almost going to fall asleep and this guy is not helping. This guy is not making it any easier. And that's why we have a YouTube channel that's separated from the Twitch. I'm not going to upload this video because I myself, I'm boring myself. And uh, I'm streaming to myself. And I'm boring myself. Okay, so this is. Let me close what is a game. We don't need it. Maybe if I reduce the load, maybe it will behave better. Okay, let me close it and open it again. Work 
it's in the freedom workspace this thing So, what's going on in my head? What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? What is going on is... It seems I tried to make this, um... Work inside this, but the dark. I noticed that every time I deal with Ragable, I have code for the mouse drag position and stuff, locally. And I'm thinking to make it um to 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 make it used in one place. And I always always had problems with rag and um and with double click and everything. And everything every time I deal with the mouse functionalities I start to have issues and actually I believe they add some stuff in the game uh, mono game 3.8 So maybe if I look into the code, if Monogame have supported a mouse, I actually might um, work on improving that part in my game engine. And I shouldn't rush myself and feel like, ah, you wasted one hour and 30 minutes, you done nothing, you asshole, you're useless, people doing things while you're doing nothing. I shouldn't feel like that. I should feel like, yeah, you're trying to improve your engine. You're taking your fucking time. And uh, life is complicated. You're tired. Your engine is complicated and you're tired. And there's a lot of work that I haven't done with. I haven't touched for years and I'm tired. So uh, take it easy. Try your best. Keep going. Maybe you should share some of your code. So yeah, yeah, we will try to, um, we will, I will try to um, make the uh, controller or one of the guys to be fully responsible on the mouse. Either the control manager I believe it's the control manager because control manager is responsible on all the keys that's fired and catched in the uh, in the system. But I was thinking about the controller because controller represent controllers, which is the players, but not anymore. We have uh, player profiles now. It's uh, a little bit different. And we are talking about the cursor uh, in the game because I have projects like Elmancy Arcade, which require tons of updates if I want to fix, uh, that have four different players and each have his own cursor. So we want to. So this one contain all the profiles, uh, like the key binding profiles, and which controller have, no problem. Hmm. 
But th this guy checked the key binding. It doesn't relate it to what I'm talking about. So let's go to the control manager. Oh boy. Oh boy. I even tried to do something related to this by making drag and release too. Definitely I attempt to do what I'm saying now. And here it has the drag and release universal and it uh, send it to the menu component and it has the uh, mouse position and it here it has checking drag and here check click so um, definitely we need one universal tracker for the mouse so I don't need to program it every time because this is stupid this is really stupid I even have them in here. Mouse current, uh, current position of the mouse, when did the press down, when did the press down, the distance the mouse dragged. So why? Mm, these are static. Later on, I need to track every joystick as well. So we need a list of joystick drag and make joystick uh, able to drag things. But for now, let's focus on the mouse and make it on mouse only for now. This start to draft really fast away. Uh, try to improve um, the mouse drag code. Make it universal and make the control manager deal with it and have the variables for the mouse. Don't let the components deal with it. So I don't want to see any variable related to the mouse inside the menu components. Because we already have... Um, This one called the one in uh, it's the opposite. Hmm. This one actually uh, check the menu component and call is drag in there. Oh, great. It seems I will never ever finish anything today. Uh, it seems I'm focusing on the wrong things. It seems I need to close anything that related to the control and focus on this issue because it's bugging me like hell and it's a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of fucking code. A lot of fucking code dealing with control and mouse and joysticks. I want to set my head to a task. So I heard there are uh, new mouse stuff in uh, in the new version. Uh, 
I don't think it's a documentary. Let's, let's check the community then. Let's check the documentary as well. If... There's no list. Where's the list? I thought there's a list in here. Fuck this keyboard. Should I start over? No, no. What you're missing is the notion of when things happen in a sequence of actions, click, help, or drag. You have an item, you press and hold the mouse left down. This may or may not be the same item crap, so you move. Uh, thank you so much for the reply. I think, what's going on here? My input handler works well. There are four methods. Left button pressed, left button released, all of them left, left button drag, and left button drop. However, if I use left button first, when the user click on the item, it does the same thing as left button drag. Yeah, tell me about it. Tell me about it. You, you need to find the distance to make a margin of distance. If it moves the mouse a lot while you're holding, 
then it become dragging. And so yeah, someone is using a timer, someone is making a rectangular. So hey, I'm a newbie and I'm coming from background of mostly C C here like in the framework so far. But I know this is the only way to get any sort of fast moving data is the mouse state position. I read an old issue to get help. Uh, I'm exciting to see. Yeah, after dealing with the, the stupid crab, the mouse and vectors, I start to understand vectors much more. Uh, and I, I start to understand uh, what this means that immutable. It's not only just can it be safe, but every time you to return it, you return a new object as well. So I used to fear that I might make some memory crap if I use new vectors a lot. Yeah, I'm already going to end the record because there's no way I'm going to 